Play Skyrim. Welcome to Skyrim, adventurer. You were standing at a crossroads deciding where to go. In one direction is a bustling tavern, in the other is a fortified town. Where would you like to go? Fortified town. You meet a dark elf hunter at the fied town. He's lost an item of great sentimental value, a statue of Talos. He begs you to retrieve it for him. Will you lend your aid to this desperate hunter? Yes. You arrive at your dungeon. As the mighty Dovahkiin, you obviously already know that you can use your weapon, cast spell, or shout to battle your enemies. And, seeing as how you're Skyrim's chosen one, you certainly will never ever need to ask to flee when facing an enemy too powerful for you. Nope, a powerful warrior like you won't ever need to flee, or even take enough damage to ask, what is my health? So let's continue. You follow the quest marker to your destination. It looks like there's a secret entrance around the side somewhere. But let's be honest here, you're just going to walk right the front door anyway. Will you venture in? Yes. Your boots clatter on the stone floor. You step into a pile of webs. Uh-oh. You're stuck. And a small frostbite spider starts crawling towards you. You can attack with weapon, cast spell, use shout, or flee. What would you like to do? Use shout. Foos. Your mighty shout sends the small frostbite spider into the dirt. Your foe has some resistance to that attack. Your thumb grows mighty. Your shout skill has increased to level 2. The small frostbite spider bites you. You take 7 damage. What would you like to do? Use weapon. Your dagger pierces the small frostbite spider. Your skill with arms has increased to level 2. The small frostbite spider bites you. You take 7 damage. What would you like to do? Cast spell. Pierce shock the small frostbite spider, causing it to convulse and fall to the floor. You survived the battle. Your health is at 86. Your magic skill has increased to level 2. You have learned new spells. You loot the small frostbite spider's remains, find a superior iron mace, and cast aside your old weapon. There are two paths before you, a winding hallway and a decoratively carved door. Which do you choose? Winding hallway. You move deeper into the fort. You scan the dusty fortress chamber quickly, searching for trouble, and find it. A wild eyed force worn blocks your path. He looks tough, and totally psychotic. You can attack with weapon, cast spell, use shout, or flee. What would you like to do? Cast spell. Your sparks zap the force worn. Your magicka swells with arcane power. Your magic skill has increased to level 3. The Force Worn attacks, but misses. What would you like to do? Use weapon! Your mace thoroughly pounds the Forn. The Force Worn looks up at you and promises that three more will rise in his place, right before you decapitate him. You survived the battle. Your health is at 86. Your skill with arms has increased to level 3. You loot the Force Worn's remains. Find a superior iron sword, and cast aside your old weapon. There are two paths before you, a crumbling staircase and a scarred iron door. Which do you choose? Uh-oh. Play Skyrim. There are two paths before you, a crumbling staircase and a scarred iron door. Which do you choose? Play again. There are two paths for you, a crumbling staircase and a scarred iron door. Which do you choose? Crumbling staircase. You move deeper into the fort. A cauldron simmers over a crackling fire. It smells good. You begin to get the feeling that something large and dangerous is ahead. The room brightens up with another worldly light. A flame atronach twists in the air blocking your path. You can attack with weapon, cast spell, use shout, or flee. What would you like to do? Cast spell. Your raised zombie strikes the Flatronach. Your foe is resistant to this type of attack. The Flame Atronach hurls a ball of fire at you. You take 16 damage. What would you like to do? Use weapon. 
Your sword slashes the Flametronach. The Flametronach hurls a ball of fire at you. You take 16 damage. What would you like to do? You shout. Foos, unreal force smashes into your foe. Your shout skill has increased to level 3. You now command unrelenting force. The flame atronach hurls a ball of fire at you. You take 16 damage. What would you like to do? Use weapon. Your sword pierces the flame atronach. The flame atronach misses you with a ball of fire. What would you like to do? Use shout. Fus row. Your unrelenting force tosses the flame atronach into the air. It crashes to the ground. The flame atronach never gets back up. That's what you get for messing with the Dovahkiin. You are victorious. Your health is at 38. You pick up the statue of Talos, determined to return it to its rightful owner. You pull a lever and a path opens to the fort's entrance. How convenient. The dark elf hunter thanks you for retrieving his statue of Talos. How could he live with it? As a reward, he gives you a fork. Well, you can never have too many forks. Nice. On the road, while digging through your inventory, you begin to wonder if you have a problem. Instead of dealing with it, you march on and soon. You arrive at a crossroads. In one direction is a Hold on. Tower. In the other is a quaint farm. Woo! I did it, guys. Bye.